Welcome to the show I Have Notes, the show where people with surprisingly full IMDb pages come together to discuss everything animation, creative, and spooky things. It's October. It's spooky season right now. Oh my god, there's a ghost! A ghost! <laughs> a ghost! I will be your host for today. My name is Issa Badiola, and with me are my cool special friends. Hey, it's me, Erin. I'm back. She's going to beat you up. Oh, yeah, so ghost. A muscle oh, ghost. <laughs> muscle ghost. <laughs> and the ghost behind Erin is... Oh! <laughs> oh, look at this ghost. <laughs> Pay the ghost. That's, that's Cole. He's the ghost. I'm the ghost of Cole. And the ghost <laughs> I'm spooked out. I'm very spooked out. Hello, my name is Josh, the spooked out boy. Wow. <laughs> Our resident Ooh. vampire, Josh. <laughs> <Ooh>. Hello. <Okay. laughs> hmm. We if all need guys... to assign our uh, our spooky Halloween names. I was gonna say, it's like if you could be like a, a like a, a spooky a spooky Halloween Sp- thing, what creature would you be? Ooh. Mm. Vampires up there. Vampires, vampires certainly up there. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like vampires, werewolves. I, I'm trying ghosts, to like go down the zombies. Ghosts, a mummy. Zombies. Mu- mummy. Which sh- you saw. Y'all see? They found that sarco- <laughs> They opened that sarcophagus. That tw- they like, opened a bunch. Another one. Twenty five hundred year old found, like, sarcophagus. It's another. It's another curse. It's another Dio. Yeah. They found Dio again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again? Again? <laughs> but this time, no. This week, enough, please. This weekend, I saw. <laughs> this weekend, you. Brendan Fraser was uh, trending on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, what? The world's falling apart. What's going on here? It's like, oh no, we're calling Brendan Fraser help. We just opened a mummy's curse. Oh my god. <laughs> I I hmm. I want to hmm. say I'm gonna say Carrie's the cat boy. <laughs> it's not spooky yes. by any means. But it's it's under it's under Halloween. <laughs> Black cat. <laughs> hey, there's oh, it's the mummy. Oh, the skeleton. Oh. The cat boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Out. He's you Don't let him rub up on your leg. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably oh, be no. a banshee. <laughs> banshee. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Wow. That's good. I'd like to be like an animal that like. Normally you'd be like that's completely fine whatever but when it gets closer and closer to you you kind of like okay now I'm kind of creeped out like <laughs> like a llama I guess you know <laughs> like huh every time yeah, every time I see a llama I'm like that's pretty cool oh shit it's coming here oh fuck get, get in the car get in the car we gotta fucking go <laughs> it's like a it's like a sliding scale based on how close the llama is <laughs> yeah <laughs> parabolic para- some kind of para- parabolic really scale funny. parabola yeah <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> I like that answer, mm. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I think I would want to be a witch, and then Carrie can be my my cat. My cat <gasps> Your cat familiar? Oh, oh my god! I love and then this idea. I can idea. turn people into frogs, or myself into a frog. Oh, <laughs> that's that's my main power: is turning people or myself into frogs. <laughs> frog, frog, frog. frog. <laughs> Well, a bunch of Kermits jumping around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to spook you. Oh, hello. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> I finally got away from Miss Piggy. Oh. <laughs> I love impressions. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they're really good. <laughs> oh, this is, she said we were good, Josh. She said we did a good job. <laughs> Yay, validation. <laughs> finally, I've been practicing that Kermit for... A day. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> a whole day. <laughs> a whole, a whole big dang day. Um, going through our list, there's a lot of exciting announcements that we want to hit. Uh, Powerhouse like, announced they're doing Blood of Zeus. Yeah, they dropped Blood a trailer of earlier Zeus. this week. What is oh. Blood of Zeus? Tell me, give me the, give me the deets on Blood of Zeus. What, what are we oh, doing with here? Um, Aaron, you put this in. Oh Calls God. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just know. Uh, shit, the camera's on me. Uh, <laughs> uh what's it about? No, Sorry, no. I just know Sorry, that buddy. they started working on it. Uh, sometime. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so it looks like IndieWire covered this. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, IndieWire says gruesome, bloody, and for the most of its runtime, mostly devoid of hope. 
Uh, oh no! Oh, wait, that's some some good. Oh wait! Oh, that's Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> it's powerhouse, and it's in the same style as Castlevania. I would assume that's that they're very similar. And judging by the trailer, uh, I would. Yeah, I remember all of those things. Yeah, I remember. I think it was like whenever Castlevania season two finally popped up, they were talking about there was going to be a Greek mythology one, or like oh, yeah. there have been rumblings, especially here in Austin, because uh, Powerhouse mm-hmm. Animation is also an Austin-based. Uh, yes. Production house. Yeah, so um, they have yeah. they they have locations elsewhere. I know they have an LA one, mm-hmm. um, but for what I am aware of, uh, their Austin one is has been like their their headquarters their, is in Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so that's exciting. It's good to see yeah. get to see a, a local get some get some jobs. Um, oh yeah, October oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 27th is the premiere date. Spooky. 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 Ooh, Spooky. That's close. Demon <laughs> armies and quests for dead giants remains, according to the article. <laughs> so this mm. based off of Greek myth, but it I, is. Would you happen? Does anyone happen to know if this is like based off of another comic or video game series, like how Castlevania uh, is based on? Not that I'm no. aware of. Ooh, yeah, I don't original. see. Any, I don't think anything that say that it's a. Uh, it looks like it's original. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, original. as original as a story about Greek mythology can be. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, uh, spoilers. I, I definitely want to talk about Hades later because yeah. um, I was just talking, thinking about it. Just like, oh man, that Greek. Any anything talking about Greek mythology is basically a fanfic, guys. <laughs> it, it really Greek, is. Greek it, mythology it really is like. Is. Cause I, I often think like why is like stuff like Harry Potter and Naruto <laughs> and all that stuff kind of popular? And I always like immediately go to factions, like. Everyone's Ooh. like, "Oh, I'm I'm oh, Hufflepuff. Yeah. I'm Slytherin. I'm so I'm yeah. village hidden in the sand. I'm village hidden in the leaf." <laughs> um, Greek mythology is like the original of that. Ooh, like a bunch of chunies. Like, oh, we're we're Athena over here. We're Athens. Oh, we we we're all about Athena. Oh yeah. Well, those guys are losers over there. They're all about Dionysus or something. No, Dionysus is <laughs> a party boy. <laughs> oh, we want to fight. We're the jocks. We're uh, Sparta. <laughs> so. That's true. That's Cole, Cole you're right. a history class now on Greek mythology. Oh, Cole talks about Greek mythology. <laughs> Cole, explains Greek, oh, Cole mythology. explains Greek mythology. Oh, Cole explains Greek mythology. All right, so oh, first no. there's some peoples, and they're the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> they created everything. <laughs> well, they know they had a bunch of kids who wanted to upset. We're talking about the original Zoomers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they know it's the gods. They showing up. They lock up the Titans. <laughs> This is Cole. And then, uh, right yeah, there's a, there's a guy who's rolling boulders. There's a guy who's finding fire. That's the same guy, actually. God, <laughs> this sounds like like a really bad shonen anime in a high school. Like, it really oh. does. Like, with all the clicks and everything. Like, yeah. the Greek, Greek, like, mythology high school. Quick, somebody. Oh. D- nobody <laughs> steal our ID. Idea. I was going <laughs> to Guys, we should. I, I know we all, like, talk about VTubing. We should VTube. And. But our characters are the different Greek gods and goddesses. So wait, I just typed in, I just Googled Greek mythology anime. Uh, <laughs> and I got two. I got two. There's uh-huh. Kamigami no Asobi, which doesn't sound okay. like it's it. Uh, <laughs> and Saint Seiya, Soul of Gold. Oh, Saint Seiya. Okay. I mean, so, there hmm. was the, not necessarily Greek, but there was that Alexander the Great anime on Adult Swim. Like, what? back in the early 2000s. Y'all know, like, it's, I don't know. It is really bizarre, know. and I feel like I don't know. talk about it, people are but like, That's not Greek what? mythology. That's, but that's, uh, it's there. Is it real? Is no, uh, there? what is are he? He's stupid. <laughs> Mesopotamia? Uh, what's his? Uh, Ma- no, it's Greek. Look what's Iskander? He is the king of the ancient Greek kingdom of Macedon. There you go. Macedonian, Macedonia? yes. Yeah. Macedonia. Yeah. Okay, the anime was called Reign the Conqueror. Reign the in, Conqueror. Uh, North America. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, sure enough. How does nobody that... remember this? It's it's a wacky style. I I did not vibe with it. I just remember <laughs> staying up till three a.m. as a child and be like, "All right, time to go to bed." <laughs> it's it's interesting. Uh, if if I can plug an anime or and or manga that I've been reading Ooh, lately, it. please. Uh, have y'all heard of Record of Ragnarok? It sounds Wait, familiar. Wait, go, go It's for like it. a go. tournament battle manga about mm. um. Essentially, all of the gods exist in this one pantheon. So you got like the Roman gods, the Judeo-Christian gods, the Greek gods, Buddha, all the gods, Indian gods. Every god exists in this like pantheon. And then one day they're like, "Hey, humans kind of suck, so let's kill them." And the <laughs> Valkyrie are like, "No, let's like it, how about this? We have a tournament. 
where the gods fight the humans. And whoever wins, the, the they get, that's like, either you kill them or you let them live. Oh. And so the, the humans pick champions, or uh, essentially the Valkyrie pick uh, champions to fight for the humans. Mm -hmm. And they have a bunch of, like, really interesting, like, I think, like, the second fight is Zeus versus Adam. Oh, that's cool. Like, mm. Adam of Adam and Eve. And it's just like, and like, it's a whole thing where they made, uh, God made Adam in the God's image so Adam can copy God powers. Oh, God. What the oh. hell? That's and it's like, oh, hell. this is, it's fucking awesome. Highly I'm, recommend. Record of Ragnarok. I'm, I googled this, and if you go in a Google image search, it's essentially, um, uh, it, it's, it is prime for some gay content let's put it that oh way. yeah <laughs> because oh yeah everyone is shirtless and ripped hubba, hubba. and yep. they're stare and it's men staring down each other and it's just like oh this can be very gay oh yeah check out buddha oh, well, buddha's buddha's at... sexy hercules is sexy like because <laughs> buddha and hercules right. are both Six humans <laughs> who uh who asked who attained godhood it's mm. like the Oh, and then, Buddha. like, uh, the, the humans get to use the Valkyrie's, Valkyrie's uh, weapons. Okay. Buddha, there's a picture of Buddha here, and he's almost, like, he's kind of like if Buddha was a millennial, um, <laughs> because he's in this, like, white, like, really loose wife beater shirt. I, uh, <laughs> um, I'm not going to look like, it up. He's, like, licking a lollipop. Like... He's, like, licking a lollipop. He has really long hair, and there's, like, one long strand, and his hair is almost, like, it's almost like what you think a man bun would be, but with very, very, very long and voluminous hair. Um, yeah. And his and his shirt says Usachan, and like his robes and or his like scarf or something is all like all wrapped loosely wrapped around him, but his shows his shoulders suggestively. So this oh, yeah. is a this is a sexy millennial Buddha right here. Thanks for listening to my description. <laughs> <laughs> this is Issa explains sexy. sexy millennial Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Screen caps of Alexander the Great in the Discord. Uh, Ooh, also very it. homoerotic. Oh man, I what is? I, I... Oh, I, I see it. Like, oh wow. Has, like... Yeah, that that's a that's a tight suit, but with like openings right yeah. where you need Ooh, to see, see, it. see it. Oh my <laughs> god. Wow. Yeah. Sexy, uh, bikini armor. Yes. But uh, on a dude. Oh my. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my! Oh my! Finally, sexism is over. <laughs> Equal opportunity. We did it, y'all. <laughs> we did it. We solved sexism. I like that there was this period of art where people just went like, "Yeah, let's just do whatever we want." Like, there's like a like a mech unicorn back there, oh, and yeah. like just snakes and stuff. Dude, this is tight. I love it. This is tight. <laughs> please, please look it up after this. This it looks like wild. if you told me this was uh, a horny. He-Man parody, well, I would believe you. <laughs> like, Morty He-Man, yes. Parody, no. It was quite serious. <laughs> it was quite serious. No, this is quite serious. <laughs> oh, man. No. Good, uh, good <clears throat> but, uh, everyone. Issa, you wanted to talk about Hades. I want to talk about Hades. Ooh, so, uh, Segway. Aaron and Josh, you segue. Woo, woo, woo. Aaron and Josh, you guys haven't, you guys haven't played Hades, but you've heard of it for sure. Yes. yes. I want to play it. It's on my list. I literally okay. have a sticky note of games I need to play. <laughs> 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 very good. Um, Josh, you, you said that you're playing something else, which I want to get to later. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm playing Genshin Impact right now. Like, oh. So on the topic of Hades, I feel like I, I've gone through this like Mandala effect thing where I thought that game came out like years ago and Ew. it just kind of like it, blew over. And then it, like now it came out and now I'm just like, wait, hold on. Like, did I time travel or did something happen? The full release. Fair. The full release just came out. Yeah. Okay. In, oh. You're not wrong, Josh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're okay. not wrong. It was really <laughs> It was yes and no, yeah. It was early access on initially on the Epic Games Store. Um, I know this because No Clip, their YouTube channel, actually released like um, a very aptly titled "Developing Hell Hades," um, <laughs> and it's a video game documentary on developing Hades, the game. And they covered Supergiant during that time when they did early access release all the way to the formal release, which was like within the last month. Um, yeah. The game so is it available. covers like the the pandemic also yeah uh. i was in the middle of that episode which is kind of wild um they oh man 
spoilers, they their studio got burgled during the um, San oh, Francisco no. riots. Yeah, Ooh. it's wild. Um, that sucks. So Hades is out on Steam, uh, com- PC, uh, Switch. Switch. <laughs> Switch. I, PS- uh, Epic Game Store, maybe? Is it PS4? <laughs> maybe. I, I might be lying. I, I got um, you. I got you. It's out on Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and Nintendo Switch. Thanks. Okay. Poop, I can't play it on my PS4. I'll have to finally <laughs> use my Switch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a roguelike game, which essentially means uh, that you have you go through every dungeon, but when you die, you go back all the way to the first dungeon. Um, and the intent is that you can kind of you you know how to play games you can always do a different run every time with different weapons different kind of items that you can equip and there's different gods of the pantheon that is trying to help zagreus son of hades escape hell or escape tartarus um it's a very good game (laughs) it's real Uh, good so good it is uh overwhelmingly positive on steam ever since it came out on steam um, mm-hmm. for early access and it's been there consistently and more and more people on like the zeit in the zeitgeist of my twitter feed have been like talking about it and it's slowly more and more arts being generated and more and more people have been finishing quote unquote finishing the game um but still replaying it because it's very easily replayable mm-hmm. and uh it is if you guys have followed super giant as a dev studio before they've done bastion um pyre uh, Transistor, uh, those are like kind of some of their top other games. They've been around for at least 10 years. And this game, I think I was talking about with Mayaso a lot because we were, we're both playing it and we're both really into it. This game is kind of like, it, it felt like they it's kind of their best work because mm-hmm. it has everything that is really fun and they kind of just went, okay, well, we got all the good stuff that we implemented a lot of good stuff in our previous games before. Let's try to expand on it. Um, I think one of the things that I was kind of picking up on is that because Hades is based off of Greek myth and is essentially like a really good fanfic, um, I think that made the barrier of entry for me a lot easier mm-hmm. into playing this game. Because I don't normally play roguelikes, but because yeah, I like, yeah, because I like Greek mythology and I'm really familiar with it, it was much easier for me to understand the characters that they're um, it, talking, you're talking or you're communicating with. It's extremely polished. Is like, yeah. I, I I found I've I've recently I guess I've played a lot of roguelites. I <laughs> I guess like going back and looking at my catalog, I was like, oh, I played I played a lot of them recently, like uh, Risk <laughs> of Rain and uh, was it Wizard of Legend and oh, yeah. just mm-hmm. or even like Rogue Legacy. Um, what's interesting is that I feel this game more than any other roguelite, and I was talking with Sam about it the other day. It almost rewards you for failing. Yeah. Like you get a lot of custom, like actually voice dialogue with the characters. Like, yeah. oh, you died to the shield, uh, shield hero in here. Yeah. Better luck next time. And uh, as you keep coming back and uh, dying, dying, coming back, dying, coming back, you you get access to more options of dialogue as well as pretty significant uh, boosts to your mm-hmm. character mm-hmm. that with like the currency in game that you can use to. Um, buff Zagreus as you keep trying to work your way up all of hell. Mm-hmm. It's it's really interesting. Um, Have y'all played on what is it God mode at all? No. I do. <laughs> I I what's, like what's God, God mode? What's God mode? So God mode when you turn it on is that you get a little bit um, you get more defense every time you die. Um, okay. So uh, when you turn it on, I think you start at like twenty percent, and every time you die. You, your damage reduction is like plus two percent. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm at a great like forty six guys. <laughs> yeah. I think it's included for like n- newcomers to the genre or people yeah. who aren't like the most skilled at games. It just makes it yeah. more accessible, which is and pretty. Neat. It's it's working. Like it's mm-hmm. really good. I I actually got to a point where I got to like the third level Elysium, and mm-hmm. I was just like. Oh, I never thought I would get here, and then I realized just all the buffs that I had. But also, I didn't feel like it was a terrible thing. Like I didn't feel no. like I was being punished for putting this on. I was actually kind of like, well, I still want to play the rest of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's an interesting concept of I, I've been talking a lot about like game design and thinking about like the concept of 
what if something is too punishing so that you don't want to play anymore versus mm-hmm. something that you keep wanting to play and what what does that yeah. mean how does that system look like yeah this definitely seems to kind of fix that i mean that was a huge thing when sekiro came out was is this was game say. too hard they should have an easy mode and I'm, I'm kind of torn in the middle of that because that's a that's a genre and series that has had a niche audience for a very long time mm. so it's kind of hard for other people to come and say hey you need to change how you make this game and how you enjoy this game so that way more people can enjoy it when probably yeah. for a long time people were like well i've been enjoying this just fine on my own yeah um, but then also you want a company to sell more copies of the game so that way they can make more good games yeah um this definitely seems to have fixed that with that god mode uh mm. mm-hmm. and I, like i i just got to the final boss for the first time last night Ooh. and it's sometimes i wish i'd, I'd pick that mode <laughs> make it a little easier <laughs> just to experience the story but <laughs> But no, I, I, I do tend to like the punishing. Punish me, daddy. Yeah. I think that, <laughs> yeah, I th- like, uh, roguelikes, like, especially like that, um, especially where you can have different builds upon every single run, like, even if it is very, very hard, like, you, even if you are on, like, a losing run, you eventually get a build that's just like, oh, my God, that was amazing, and you want to play again to try and get that same, like, yeah. I guess, like, gamer high, I guess mm-hmm. I could call it. Right. Like, I, I think that, like, even though uh, there's that definite like striking balance between like difficulty and wanting to play even more like there's definitely some games that are made hard for the sake of just being hard mm. and then there's games that i i i want to believe that there's like a stair step effect that eventually keeps going up where it's just like it's hard but you can still see over the peak a little bit and it kind of like leads you into this way of like i can kind of build myself up skill wise or ability wise and you keep wanting to do it more you know what i mean mm, yeah. um mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, well, that, I, I, feel, I go ahead that's what they should be aiming for is that yeah. it is hard and challenging but then you eventually overcome it through your own like your own efforts mm, mm, mm. Like oh, yeah. you, you naturally get better yeah because you you start to like learn patterns and stuff mm. um I, I, it's kind of crazy to think that there is actually a whole audience that really loves difficult games. Um, yeah. I think about the Spelunky series, oh. um, Spelunky because Spelunky Two out. came out, and uh, according to my so like, and to what the creators have been saying about Spelunky Two, they're like, oh no, yeah, the difficulty's ramped up, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, thanks. What, well, why don't they just like make more difficult levels in like Spelunky One, I guess? But then it's just like, oh well, I mean, Spelunky Two is really just for people who are really into Spelunky or have mm. finished it and they want a new a new like scenario maybe um but it is more difficult so it's like both kind of catering to the audience that they already know about but also it's just like well it's just it's just difficult to play so but that doesn't negate that spelunky one exists still and that they probably yeah. have patched it a few times at this point mm-hmm. so absolutely i think that's interesting hmm. Um, hmm. Speaking of rewarding and punishing, Josh, you're playing Genshin Impact. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, that has taken uh, over my life. <laughs> when did you start playing? Um, I think day of. Uh, so like, <clears throat> whenever it first came out, that was terrible because <laughs> the <laughs> I guess like everybody and their mother was just like, "What is this game? Are you? It's free to play? Holy hmm. shit! Let me download it right now." Everybody on Earth. Plus, like, the next planet over was downloading <laughs> off of, I guess, like, the one fucking PC uh, trying to, like, send this game off to everybody. Oh. So, I think my download took me, like, nine hours. Oh, my yep. God. Mine was yeah. nine hours that day. Me, like, twice that. Well, no, no. Really it's like better now. now. It's better now. It's better now. Yeah. Oh, but right. day one, it was terrible. It was just, like, it took nine hours. I was like, fuck this. I went to sleep, came back. I was like, okay, now I can play it. Um, but it is... It's great, though. It's... Um, it definitely What's has that feeling. Um, the story is uh, it's all right. <laughs> I'll say it's that right now. It's, it's, oh it's a God, JRPG. Josh. Yeah, it's yeah. a JRPG. It's, okay, okay. Uh, so TLDR, uh, th- it's not really spoiling anything because it's like literally the first minute of the game. But basically, you're it's described that you're like supposed to be some sort of uh traveler or like god or something like that that travels between worlds with your 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 sibling. And then you end up running into another person who's like this super high level god person, and then they separate you, and then you're like, oh, I've landed in a different world. I've been isekai basically. And then you basically just go and do things in the new world, and that's Genshin Impact. 
Um, <clears throat> that's really what it's about. Uh, but overall, like people are just calling it sort of like what is it? <laughs> Breath of the Waifu. Breath of the Waifu. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a gotcha it's, game, right? Yeah, it's a gotcha yeah. game. Um, there's some gotcha elements, yeah. There's definitely there's definitely gotcha element to it. Um, but what I will say that it's like. Mihoyo, the the people who have developed this game are very very good about their gacha games because like there's games like Fate Grand Order which don't get me wrong I love Fate but at the same time I hate playing that game because I mean <laughs> at, at the end of the day it's just like I'm just collecting fucking PNGs and I'm like what am I doing? <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, it Fate Go is more of like a gacha with a game attached like just kind of painted over top of it oh, whereas okay. Genshin and Mihoyo's other game uh, Honkai Impact Third are actual games with a gotcha attached to it. So you never really feel like you're falling behind at any given point when it comes down to the gameplay. Like it feels good no matter what. And you don't really feel like you need to put a whole lot of time into it. That being said, I've already spent money on Genshin Impact and I've <laughs> rolled terrible rolls, but that's, you know, I, I think it's worth it. Cause I think I've already dumped like 25 hours into this game and it came wow. out yeah. earlier this week. Right, Cole? Yeah. Well, last week came out last Tuesday, <coughs> I believe. Yeah. Cause I got, I got, I downloaded it day of as well. Mm. Um, I mean, I, I, I like gotcha games. I, that's, that's part of like, I'm, str I'm stressing out. I mean, we're all stressing out during <laughs> these trying times, but, uh, my ther my therapy is retail therapy and <laughs> gotcha true. games are perfect because it's with me always. Um, <laughs> no. and so, uh, it's, it hits that gambling addiction as well. It, it gets them all. Uh, oh, no. but no, like it, it definitely, it is essentially like take recognizable parts of Breath of the Wild, take recognizable parts of uh, any Tales game of, I mean, there's even kind of an element of the newest Final Fantasy where in mid-fight you can tap a button to switch characters to use their ability. Uh, and, mm -hmm. um, or even like, I, I, it's funny, I brought it up earlier, Wizard of, uh, or, yeah, Wizard of Legend. Yeah. It has like an elemental system where you can be a fire character, shoot a fireball, and then you follow it up with your wind character who throws a tornado, and then those fire and uh, tornado combine into a fire tornado that starts spinning out of control, uh, oh. killing things. So yeah. it's, uh, or there's puzzles and stuff where it's like, hey, there's a wind, or there's an island in the middle of that uh, lake. Okay, I need to use my ice character to freeze the top of the lake to get to that chest yeah, so I can get okay. the stuff out of it. And it has that rewarding, like, you figured it out. You also, to get to that lake, you also could have hit one of the, the wind fairies with, uh, with a tornado to create a gust to shoot you up into the air oh. to parachute over there. So there's yeah. multiple ways to attack. I see what you mean. I see what you mean by like how that's Breath of the Wild elements because yeah. it's, it's like multi-tool but um, different ways to like get to the same point. Mm -hmm. um, you said it was JRPG though, or well, it's basically an RPG. I don't know if it's Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Is it like how do I put this? Or um, is how or like is it just really like an open world game in your phone? Yeah. Well, Whoa! it's so there. So it is released on. PS4, oh, Steam, right. okay. and your phone. PS4, you have to buy a $50 purchase. Oh. Uh, but I think what they do is they translate that into in-game currency. So essentially, you just bought $50 worth of in-game currency, and you have the game on your P uh, PS4. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. On the mobile and on your PC, it is free, and it's cross-save. So cool. I could log in right now and play... <laughs> Put the phone down. Okay, I'm at my home. I want to play on my computer now. Load yeah. up the exact spot I left off on my computer. Um, yeah, and I think Switch is going. To, I'm not sure if Switch is going to be cross save mm. or not. I know Switch Nintendo tends to be a little more friendly yeah. with that kind of stuff than okay. Sony, but mm. um, and that one's coming. I think like next year or at a later date. You said so. you've been playing it on your phone, right, Cole? I played it very little on my phone. I try to play on my PC whenever I can. Okay, how does um, it how does it compare? Because I've only played on my PC right now. Phone is fine. It's I. I mean, obviously, like PC is going to be a better experience. Yeah. The phone is fine in services, except for um, my main is Fischl, who is a archer character. Mm. The archery is really annoying on phone. <laughs> Are they using tilt controls? Yeah, uh, they don't have tilt controls. It oh, makes oh. me wish they had tilt controls. Oh, no. Okay. Instead, it's like <laughs> you're trying to move your character around with one hand, but then you're trying to aim with the other hand. And so, if you if one of those is off sync, you're going to miss your target. Now, now the the question I have is, how does it look comparatively, like from phone to uh, PC? 
Well, I have this brand new oh. Samsung oh Ultra 5G. <laughs> hey. uh, <laughs> uh, so it looks fine on my phone. Like it looks, it looks really nice on my phone. Because that's the thing. It was like I, I downloaded the game, and I knew they've been working on this for a, a number of years, right? Like I remember it came out a couple years ago, and people were just like, "Oh, it's just a Breath of the Wild ripoff." It came out. Well, was, like I said, like last Tuesday. That game looks so pretty like i'll be at the top of like uh it, there like there's the second part of the the world that you end up going to and you can go to like one of the highest peaks in the like the game and it overlooks just a giant amount of the game and the draw distance is like pretty decently high for like a lot of like the terrain and stuff like that and it doesn't really look like it drops any quality and like the art is just so f freaking like like good like i don't really have a word for it other than good but it's gorgeous and it's, go ahead yeah. I was I was gonna follow up extremely pot like I mean it looks polished it looks it's very good polished. yeah I, I'm loading it up right now I'm gonna I'm gonna give you we're gonna see how it translates for my phone to <laughs> the camera the through VMix to you guys <laughs> but um, Aaron, Aaron yeah. and I just play puzzle games on our phones <laughs> yeah <laughs> speaking of um, Breath of the Wild rip off um, I have been seeing that comparison around in addition to. Um, some people noticed, I think, some of, like, the character animation is, like, eerily similar and or stolen from, like, Nier Automata. Oh! And it's, like, yeah, I'll, I wish I had the link, but, um, it's, like, I don't know if it's, like, directly stolen, and it's, like, kind of, or, like, just referenced heavily. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see what y'all think about, like, can you steal animation, can you copyright, like, moves like that if that makes sense i mean what are your, what are your <laughs> it would it would depend on what the source of that was to begin with like yeah. what's to say those original sources created that animation mm -hmm. like did mm -hmm. they reference an animation base i mean if, if a company goes and creates their own custom animation for something and then another co company blatantly rips it off then yeah that's stolen yeah but like the climbing animation in this looks eerily similar mm -hmm. to breath of the wild is that because Breath of the Wild, did they create their own individual unique climbing animation, or did they have a base that they based it off of? Mm -hmm. Like they got got the rights to this one that was, uh, I guess you mm -hmm. could use. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's, well, an, it's a, it's that's an a really good question. Discussion. Or yeah. or if it's yeah. what if it's the same person who got hired to do it? Like also, yeah. Also true. Yeah. That's also like, very. The Breath of the Wild like comparison is like very obvious, but it sounded like the game beyond visuals is like very it's very own thing. So yeah, it's like well, yeah. it's not that much of a rip off. It's just like visually inspired. So right. yeah, wow, that is. Such it's a, also yeah. like I'll try to try to drop the link after this. Yeah, it's also very possible that it's just like oh, two people just kind of had the same kind of idea and just ended up making something almost eerily very similar. It's like it's not yeah. just one animation though. It's like a whole. Like a whole set of them. Um, oh, and okay. They put like a the tweet I saw was like one to one, the same the like two B and the character like doing the same exact thing at the same time. So it's like, mm. uh, all right. Okay, so it is. is it's hard to know like if we don't have like the code, obviously, <laughs> or like the animator. Yeah. Does that translate wow. very well? I don't know. <laughs> very small screen, yes. <laughs> Tiny screen within a screen. That's not okay. in focus. That's, that's not focus at all. Okay. Wild, no. Because it's also just like, man, like I'm I'm used to console holding a console, right? At least with the yeah. Switch era now. Like you hold a console, it, there's like a, a powerful program or a powerful tool in your hand. The I I know a phone has been kind of the has been, uh, theoretically, the phone is also a console. Um, yeah. And I think that's kind of the first game, just like seeing your phone um, when you hold it up like that. It's just like, mm -hmm. oh wow, that is that is actually it. Like, yeah. that, that's console. kind of the definite. You're a, a real gamer now. Well, You're a real well, even, boy. <laughs> I know they're even like Razer's selling uh, a, an adapter you can put around your phone that Bluetooth, like it Bluetooths to the phone, so you can do uh, controller commands. That's cool. Well, my friend had like hooked up his PS4 controller to it. So, oh, wow. like Bluetooth PS4 controller to try to yeah. try and sync it up. Oh. I don't know if he ever got it working, wow. but I mean, yeah, you can. They have like Bluetooth controllers for phones now. To to go back to that like animation copyright discussion, it's like it's kind of wild because I think there's there there's clear cause with art, right? Like there's clear yeah. delineations. It it seems like there would be clear deli delineations of plagiarism. Um, there was an instance of like discourse before because there was this one animator who was clearly uh, stealing from other people's work um, and 
uh, theses and put it and like basically kind of just traced oh, over it and made yeah. it yeah made it his own and then he was like director of a project was it and like, people a Sony commercial or something yes it was a Sony okay. commercial people yeah. called him out on it and uh, they had cut ties because it was just like this is plagiarism yeah but when it's when it comes to a video game and I guess my thought is kind of just like. The animation is part of a video game, but there's so much more to a game than just mm. animation, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, if it's, I guess, um, my thought is kind of just like, huh? Wow, that's that's a that's a question because yeah. it's. Would you would you say well, Stardew Valley improved on um, Harvest Moon? Mm -hmm. What people would argue, yeah. right? Yeah. But, but the system is essentially a Harvest Moon system. But mm -hmm. Stardew Valley exists as its own game itself. Um, yeah. I mean, that's even more like, abstract. That's just like a concept. Yeah. Whereas yeah. animation, it's like a very visual, uh, physical yeah. thing. Right. It's interesting. Yeah. Man, mm. gonna ruminate on that one, Aaron. That's Good hard. Questions. Well, that, that also <laughs> speaks, like, keep in line with, like, the animation talk. It kind of like, yeah, it's more abstract. I guess, like, I don't know. Because uh, thinking about... Um, but the rumors as to why there hasn't been a new uh, No Game No Life season is mm. because the author was found to have been tracing poses for characters. Oh, oh. interesting! Whoa. I did not know that. Like a long time, a long time ago, and oh, so it was wow. like, well, or I guess the artist was, and it's yeah. like, well, okay, first off, is the artist the author? Oh. Then also, it's poses. For a yeah, light like novel, you can, can you copyright what? poses? It's weird. It's one of those like gray like it areas. poses for a it poses for a light novel where the main body of the work you're going to be seeing is text. It's not it's a manga text, where yeah. it's being told. It's still obviously wrong to steal somebody else's work yeah. <laughs> and pass it off as your own without giving them credit. Mm. Like that that for sure. And I, I mean, I think even to the point of uh, Stardew Valley, I think they were very very upfront that this is inspired by Harvest Moon. Yeah. Harvest Moon has gone in a direction that we don't want to go in anymore. Uh, uh, Harvest Moon became much more gamified, like right. oh, puzzles. Let's not have as much be fo focused on farming and uh, the real game, the marrying yeah. people. Um, <laughs> and so that like uh, that Gotta came out, but even buddies. then now like any, even then there's been weirdness because I think Harvest Moon has now committed to going that direction, and they've broken off to a different game series, Story yeah. of Seasons. Yeah, which is yeah. now focusing on the farming and life sim aspect right. of those types of games. The true Harvest Moon. Um. <laughs> I should make my sister play that one. Oh, yeah. Or Rune <laughs> Factory. Just play Rune Factory. Rune Factory, yeah. yeah. I feel terrible playing those games because I feel like I'm not good at playing God. <laughs> Because you're I don't min max. You're, you're just playing a farmer. You farmer. think farmers I don't are god? Min max the best. <laughs> oh, you don't have to min max. You don't have to. Min -max. But everyone makes me feel bad that I don't min max. <laughs> no, but you're fine. You're good. You're good. Th thanks, cultists. Um, well, so what okay. else we got on our topic sheet? Yeah, let's go. Um, <laughs> Uh, so this is interesting. G Kids acquired the rights for Evangelion for home release and theater release. Uh, I hope I am correct about that one. Um, I'm going to open this link so I just make sure that I have the correct information. Oh, there you go. Here it is. Thank you. Coming to Blu-ray, uh, 2021. Coming to Blu-ray. First Ooh, time in that's North America. Actually, yeah, honestly though, that it's been a fucking hot second since that has actually happened. So um, this is for only the television run. The television and the two movie, the two original movies. Mm, yes. Okay. Not the reboot. Yes. Correct. Got Even it. Daily Death True. Yeah. I would it's assume the also it's the original cast, but I might be wrong. That's Didn't the thing that. Say. That's what I'm kind of um, interested in because the first thing when Aaron had posted this, I was like, "Wait, what about Netflix?" But Netflix yeah. only has streaming rights. But Netflix was the one who recasted. Re yeah, yeah, recasted and redubbed it. Um, so not, I, I haven't heard the new Netflix dub and I have not necessarily re -ex experienced that. Um, but I was kind of just like, it, I guess it's the different distributors. It has made it a little weird. I should, I guess mm -hmm. I, there, there should, there is a line between like streaming distribution versus like actually physically releasing it. Um, so yeah, that's some news. That's fun news. 
Mm, yeah, I was trying to see if I could see a, a, a Netflix I logo anywhere. Yeah. I don't think I don't think it does. Okay. Yeah, people are asking for put "Fly Me to the Moon" back in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't okay. Sorry, everyone. I don't think you're getting "Fly Me to the Moon" back in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't. Which is why. I, which is why I then would think that we're going to get the dub. We're going to get the Netflix dub. Oh. Okay. Just because of licensing, like. That's that probably was part of the conversation. Just yeah. that's my hunch. That's my hopefully educated guess. <laughs> so uh, on top of that, G Kids continues to deliver. Um, they are they're uh, releasing theatrical premiere of Lupin the Third, the first. Mm. Let's let's think, let's think about that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> There's a theatrical premiere for the 3D Lupin movie, which is very exciting. Um, it's select very theaters. Yes, October 18th, it says dub. October 18th for the dub and October 21st for the sub. Um, uh, always, I feel like I should follow this Twitter now because G-Kids has been a really great um, license and distributor for mm -hmm. a lot of anime movies that have been coming out and making mm -hmm. sure that that actually gets a um, U.S. presence. And also they're the, I, it's like before it was like, um, uh, um, Aniplex, not Aniplex. Yeah. But it was some other some other companies like Eat Funimation. Um, Funimation yeah. would. Oh, I feel bad because oh, it's man. the one that we always do Ruby with. Yeah. Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're great with information, everyone. We're not the ones interacting with the <laughs> theatrical. This is true. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, di 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 digital download to own in December. So if you don't want to oh! uh, potentially get sick, you can wait till yeah. December. And I think oh. I saw on Twitter, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is the original uh, English cast from like. Oh, from the original whatever series broadcast. it was. How Holy many years crap. ago? Ooh, let's see. Ooh, yeah, let me. For Evangelion, me right? No, for uh, Lupin. For Lupin. Oh, for Lupin? Lupin. Okay, yeah. never mind. Whoa. So if you're a That's fan exciting. of the OG. What's that, Sunny Sunny Straight? Nanny? Um, is that Sunny Straight is Lupin? Nanny. Michelle Ruff, yeah. <laughs> I say that too. Um, th this is this is going to be interesting, and in I think it's like um, the more 3D uh, movies that Japan releases, the more I'm just kind of like increasingly curious. Mm -hmm. um, because it's they they try to make it both anime but also very still as like gummy as 3D can be. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's very I, aesthetically pleasing. I'm I quite enjoy the 3D anime yeah. not anime look. I don't yeah. know how you want to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I uh, this isn't in the topic sheet. But speaking of anime movies, and this one's oh, no. for you, Josh, you and me. Um, oh. The Violet oh, Evergarden, no. the movie, <laughs> uh, it oh, surpassed no. <laughs> one billion yen uh, Holy crap. for Wait, its how much is that in the US? for its release. Uh, wow. Ten. <laughs> Josh. Be ten hundred million. Ten, ten million. Okay. Okay. It's ten zeros. No lot. Have you yes. seen it? Yeah, yeah. I haven't. No. Oh. Have you? So w when can I see it? I'm that's ready a to great cry. That's a great question. I, that's why I was like, wait, I should keep an eye out on the G Kids Twitter because maybe they'll acquire the rights for it. Oh yes. Oh, I'm I, I'm ready. I'm ready to feel for that one. I I completely forgot that existed until you just said something about it. I'm like, oh my tears. I can I can feel it just welling up behind my eyes right now. I'm like, just oh about I'm ready to cry. <laughs> Finally, but I can that's... turn back my emotions on. <laughs> I have but, feelings. The feelings. <laughs> that is um, the. I'm trying to convert a billion yen to dollars. I'm pretty sure it's two two zeros. Yeah, it's two zeros because uh, a hundred a hundred yen is a dollar. Mm. Uh, just abouts, just abouts. Like a hundred oh, yen is like ninety five cents, but. Okay. Yes. Anyway. Still, still very good. Still very good. It's a. Uh, I think that was definitely one of the more anticipated anime movie releases, and it's primarily because of the, um, I wouldn't say primarily, but I think a lot of people wanted to get a, uh, get good news after the Kyoto Animation yeah. Arsonist fire. Um, mm -hmm. So everyone just really wanted to support them, I think, after that, and that is just like the biggest support you could ever have for Ooh. a studio that really deserves it. Ooh, Violet yeah. Evergarden. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, <laughs> so good. My <laughs> <laughs> Um, 
Uh, oh, there's a cute question. Uh, I know, Aaron, I think you put this one in. Um, uh, what are some things on your to watch slash to read slash to playlist, everyone? Oh. Right. Many is, I, is the assumption. <laughs> Who wants oh. to start? Show and tell. I mean, it's that's a Josh. tough question. It, it just we just started the new season of anime, so that's a pretty tough question. Oh yeah. no, Cole. <laughs> yeah. Are you watching uh, too, Josh? I'm, I'm watching a lot of anime too. I, I mean, I'm, I'm always watching a lot of anime. It's just not, <laughs> it's just too much. No, there's not enough. There's just not enough. And let me let me retract my statement. <laughs> <laughs> uh the new haiku season started oh, best wow. boys, best, yeah, boys best boys there's the new haiku is this yeah. the last new season oh, i don't know this, because because okay. i know the manga's done right the manga's done okay. as far as i know i think so um so i, I don't the, know if this is the last season this is the second half of the last season so if the last season was like the last arc if if this is like this has been the last arc, I could see there be more though. If it's not, um... I, I think there's more arcs than this one, but I don't know if it actually covers um, our main team, Karasuno. So, because mm. <laughs> there there could always be more episodes covering the other good boys that are prevalent in Haikyuu. It looks like it's them. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's covering wow. too them. Like boys. they're too, too many. They're in the. Boys. They're all over the promotional Not enough material. boys. Not enough boys. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, I see, I is getting. I need um, to watch subtraction. that and read it. I yeah, I had nothing, list. no idea what the hell I was watching because like I, I I had no idea what I was gonna get into and I was like, yeah, this is like the big thing I guess on this website, so I go ahead and click on it and like, uh, it's interesting and good. I'm going to watch the rest of it. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm glad, Josh. <laughs> are, so... are you are you a fan of this series? <laughs> I, I haven't watched it. I think that's also on our list because it's just because we've been seeing um, the hype around it and there's been some dope ass animation. Oh, so yeah. like, you know, it is Mappa. It's Mappa. It, yeah. Oh, Mappa. Yeah. Oh, damn. That's really good. Mappa's killing it. They're doing a lot. Yeah. I, well, I'm trying to think. I feel like my... that's every, every season yeah. we say Mappa's doing a lot. Everyone's like, oh, Mappa, yeah. you're doing too much. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> we haven't stopped. Yeah. <laughs> um, so remind me, Studio Mappa is the one who did, um, uh, you're in ice, right? You're in ice, banana fish, God of High School. I think it's the same team as God of High School, so oh, expect yeah. a lot of intense action. Uh, did Dororo, Inuyashiki, Kakaguri, Terror and Resonance, Zombie Land Saga. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah uh, geez. Oh, well, okay. it's, hey. it's interesting because they had a, a lot of bigger titles. I personally, and this is just my opinion, I personally feel like Yuri and Ice got them a lot of. A lot more jobs, <laughs> yeah. or a, a lot more licenses, or a lot more um, titles. Because mm -hmm. before it looks like they had like one or two, they're 2004, or what, they've been slowly increasing like one to three per year. But now they have like at least five productions in the same year. Mm -hmm. um, you're ever nice. since you're nice. You're nice as well as they tend to do a lot of uh, gotcha game anime adaptations. Oh. So they have a lot of bank backing them up, like because uh, I think gotcha Rage of Bahamut <laughs> isn't Rage of Bahamut related to Grand Blue Fantasy in some way? I, I think so. Um, uh, it is based on the game, yes. Yeah, and then they do yeah. the Grand Blue Fantasy anime. They did uh, Garo. There's a ton of Garo. Mm -hmm. um, they did. Yeah. Like, to be fair, I think the lineage of Mappa was, according to Wikipedia, the founder was also. Um, someone who used to work at Madhouse. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Studio Madhouse. And so uh, there's just, it's always a, like, you know, that like tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Everyone anime comes from the same place. The anime <laughs> well, yeah. tree. <laughs> Yuri and I said it. They're doing the last season of uh, Attack on Titan. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Which, that's what, that's interesting. Why, why take Wit off it for the last season? Interesting. Oh, yeah. Did Wit do the last season? Wit's yeah, done every season do. except for this Wits one. Did, yeah, since the first, like Attack on Titan mm. was Wit's uh, like big, um, big, big uh, hit. It was like yeah. their big first hits. They're doing a uh, Vinland Saga now, which is yeah. That's I need to continue watching that. That's also on my list. For me to watch it. I've watched There's the first also... three episodes. Oh uh, yeah, Vinland me too. Actually, so kind of Vinland abruptly so stopped. I was watching it with Rachel and Courtney. Um, yeah, and oh, I just haven't okay. picked it back up. Mm. Uh, there's a new Love Live. So everyone needs to watch Love Life. There's a th third season of Golden Kamui. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, yes. That's, 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 that's so much. 
There's a new Higurashi. Uh, or a reboot of oh, Higurashi. We'll talk about that later. Oh. Like in it's spooky season. Depth. We can. <laughs> uh, the sequel series to Inuyasha. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. A Dragon Quest anime. What the heck is going on? A Climbing What's Girls the, uh, anime? Richard's going to lose his goddamn mind. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. What's the other one? Uh... What's the one with the witches? I can't remember. Oh, oh uh, uh, wait. Oh, Burn the Witch? Oh, there's Burn the Witch, which Burn is... Burn the Witch, uh, yeah. Taite oh, Kubo. yeah, the Kubo, yeah. But that's um, just going to be like an OVA. That's going to be like three episode, three movies. Is that it? Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought it would I mean, be it still a looks good. series. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then there's also, yeah, a another one that's like Journey of Elena, which is more witch stuff. Mm. Um, there's that anime, The Irregular of Magical High, which is like a huge light novel series. Oh, that's big, yeah. The second season of that's out. Also, is it wrong to pick up on a? Is it wrong to pick up girls on a dungeon? Season three, is is out. Like, there's a lot. <laughs> there's yeah. a, there's Cole's much. watching anime like every day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time. I don't have time for all this anime. <laughs> Bro, you just need more monitors and develop Sharingan, and that's it. You're good. Oh, oh. <laughs> Watch it. I know, right? <laughs> like, just get monitors around your bed and just like absorb it as you sleep. Oh yeah. Just put a VR I'm headset still catching on. up on yeah. last oh, season. Yeah. I'm still wa also Re Zero is still going. Oh yeah, um, that's right. Of course. I think aren't they having a break? Is Fire Force still gonna be going? There's a lot to watch, guys. Yeah. <laughs> One piece is still going, but that's never gonna end. Yeah, Fire Force yeah, is still going. Yeah. Oh no, I think I think uh it's the half season break for Re Zero. So yeah, I think that's I get what a little I was bit of reprieve. Thinking. Okay. Uh, Black Clover's uh, still going though. To read list, um, I, I know I've been saying like how much I love Chainsaw Man, but I've also been wanting to read the manga's previous manga, which is uh, Fire Punch. Apparently, that Ooh. was like really good. So oh, that one I'm like, excited to dive into. Oh. Apparently, it'll fuck mm. you up. So, but I mean, oh no, <laughs> I, I think after 2020, I think I'm ready for it. You're ready to get fucked <laughs> up. Yeah. Nothing, nothing can phase me at this point. Just, I was gonna say it's like Aaron's. Aaron's watched the the. Uh, Tokyo sinking or something. <laughs> Tokyo sinking. <laughs> Japan sinks. Sinking. Yeah. Only, Tokyo. <laughs> Only a Tokyo. Uh. Japan. Japan sinks. Twenty twenty. Yes. There it is. <laughs> um, um, I'm finally catching up on uh, with everyone else because it's spooky season and I'm watching spooky Haunting season. on Hill House. Boo, 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 boo. Segway. Watching what? Haunting on Hill House. I need to watch that. I need to watch it. Cause Bly I... Manor is coming out this Friday. Oh. What is? Uh, the it's like the um, it's not a sequel, but the same people are doing like another um, series, a uh, spooky season, a spooky series. So kind of some related to Haunting of Hill House, but it's not. Uh, who knows how directly related they are? But it's the Haunting of Bly Manor. Um, that's coming out this Friday, I think, in time for Spooky. Uh, so my SO wanted to watch um, Haunting of Hill House because he really likes it, and I would not have watched it on my own, so I'm watching it. Yeah, and fuck ghosts. I don't fuck with ghosts. Fuck ghosts. Oh, y'all have been playing Phasmophobia? Y'all want to play Phasmophobia? I was trying to watch y'all play the other day. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing I don't fuck with. Zombies. I'm playing tonight, Aaron. I'm playing tonight. <laughs> so it's... I'm playing tonight. Come watch me be a big, brave dog. God. I'm a big, brave dog. I will say that game is so much worse than VR because you're just like I don't. No, where's my no, flashlight? No, no, where's it? No. And the thing is, like, if you get got by the ghost, it's like you see like the hands come around your oh. face and grab you and just pull you into the underworld. Oh, it's 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 great. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I get like when ghosts are involved. Like, I get so Aaron's gonna beat him up. Yeah. When we were playing. Uh, the first time I played PT was back at stage five with like Miles and a bunch of other guys. And oh man, I was getting fighty. I was, I was barreling down that hot that hallway. I was like, I'm gonna fucking fight this bitch. Mm. <laughs> That's how have I you ever watched? Uh, have you ever watched Ghost Adventures, Aaron? I'm familiar with it. <laughs> it's like the the dude bros walking are like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, ghost! I heard you're bullies. I hate bullies. I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> you're not a bitch. Make yourself known. Yeah, yeah, you little, and then like one tiny noise gets made. They're like, "Oh my God, run, yeah, run!" Did you hear me. that? Did you hear that? It's me. There's um the eldest brother in the Haunting of Hill House. I forget the actor's name, but that reminds me, Cole, that um every time I uh, the first time I saw him, I looked up, turned to myself, and I was like, "That looks like Discount Shane from um, Buzzfeed Unsolved." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's weird because you watch that. You would, He's a, he's a professional paid actor, so arguably he may be more paid more than Shane. So who's the discount? 
Oh. <laughs> Shane's is on discount. Oh no. Shane's is on discount. <laughs> Thinking emoji. <laughs> Thinking emoji. Well, so Cole's watching anime. Josh is also watching anime. Mm-hmm. Do you, I'm going to start do watching we, anime. <laughs> do we read, guys? <laughs> I read no, anime. I, manga I, I, read, before. I read. I read. <laughs> re zero. <laughs> so, those are words. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I read books that have pictures more than words. I don't know how to read. Oh, no, I, uh, <laughs> I read the most tragic story of all my Twitter timeline. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Jesus Christ. Spooky. That's a spooky. Yeah, October hit hard. October hit hard. <laughs> I did order a book, and like this is like the first book I've ordered, but it's like a workbook more than anything. Oh. It's just like learning the Japanese oh. hiragana katakana, katakana, which like I have already reviewed all of it and I know it, but like now I need to like actually cement it in my brain, so I'm like writing it in. But like that's the extent of reading that I'm doing, so I'm trying to expand my vocabulary knowledge on Earth. Um, so I can read things natively and and watch things and speak things natively to my favorite content. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, reading. Wow. Oh, yeah. Converse in Japanese soon. That would be cute. I asked him to speak in Japanese, and he was just like, "I uh, oh, uh, like, oh, no. <laughs> excuse me." Doko. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's okay. We should have. Uh, a... Taijobu, Taijobu. Taskete, Taskete, Taskete. Is it? I, I will leave you with this as my last one of my last statements for this episode. Um, did you guys see that TikTok? Oh, wasn't it Carrie who shared it with us? Probably. Where it's like stop in all these different languages, but when they go to Japanese, they go yamete, yamete, yamete. The fuck. My my takeaway from that is everyone who laughs at that <laughs> in my head, I go. They've all watched hentai at one point. <laughs> Degenerates. Call out. Look at Call out. <laughs> Call out. Um, no that, that's our episode. <laughs> hey, we did it. Thanks, guys, for <laughs> hanging out and being with us. Yes. Love yes. to see Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, give you guys. Thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a thumbs up from Josh. That's an Hell yeah. Um, yeah, thanks, Aaron. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, Aaron, Cole, and Josh, for being on this episode with me. Thank you. And thank you, the audience. Thank you, the audience. Thank you, audience. Thank, thank you. you, audience, for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. To I have notes. Um, if you, do you guys have notes? Feel free to leave a comment for us, uh, and maybe we will read it. No, one hundred percent we read it. I'm not gonna say maybe. Let's not be passive aggressive. I'm going to 100% read your comments. <laughs> I read all the comments. I read all the comments. So can I leave a that's note? My, that's my nightly reading. <laughs> Josh, what's your note? <laughs> my nightly reading. Josh, what's your note? Do you have a note? Uh, no, you have to read it. Oh! <laughs> First. All right, I'm, let's end this episode so I can read Josh's note, guys. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>